Hey guys, so this is gonna be a different type of video here. We're gonna get really personal and I'm gonna take you guys into my toilet. So why I'm doing this, and by the way, I'm super pregnant about to attempt this, but our lovely, funny, adorable son Tanner, two years old, put a candle holder in the toilet and flushed it and I cannot get it out myself. So. Before we attempt a plumber, I actually had everything I needed at Home Depot for less than the cost of a plumber. So I'm hoping that I'm gonna be able to pull this off myself because from what I was reading, it's not gonna be that hard. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a go. And worst case scenario, if it doesn't work, then I'll call the plumber. But at least I would have learned a new skill um, and I have the stuff in case this happens again because with four kids, I mean, it's likely to happen again uh, in the future of a kid putting a toy down the toilet. So we are gonna hop into it. So I'm gonna share with you guys everything I have for this project. So first thing I have is a shop vac because you want to clear up the water that is in the toilet before you take it off, otherwise you're gonna have water everywhere. And then I also have a new seal. It's a universal seal. So this is a, not a wax seal. So I thought that this would be easier to clean up. And then we also have a ratchet set. I think this is it. This is what it is, a ratchet set. So I need a, a one a half, I believe. So we're just gonna hop into it and give it a go. So I'm gonna start with the shop back, clear the water out. But the most important thing that I'm gonna need to do is shut the water off. So we're gonna do that now. Okay, so to turn your toilet water off, if you don't know how to do it, um, you wanna turn this knob counterclockwise. And this is actually attached to the toilet. So look for the line that has the um, piping attached to the water line. And then you're just gonna go ahead and turn it off and you can hear that the water actually stops. So uh, we have that so far. Okay, so next you're going to need a shop vac unless you don't mind a bunch of water all over your floor. And then you need to suck out all of the water that has been left in the toilet because you don't, if you lift the toilet up, then all of this water is going to come out of it. So you want to go ahead and empty the toilet bowl with your shot gun. That's a group effort, you guys. I'm not doing this by myself. Chris is helping. You can't see the crack in my butt, can you? No, normally your crack is showing though. So these are the, the nut and bolts. So this is the last step. I took the back part off and the last part is to get the last little screw out so then we can lift the toilet up and retrieve the candle. All right, so toilet has been completely lifted, but the problem that we have is the candle is lodged right here. So there is like no way for it to get its way out from the back. So um, yeah, I'm not sure what we're gonna do at this point. Probably gonna need to just replace the toilet. All right, you guys, so the trouble that I came into was the drain right over in here. So as you can see, there's a curve. Um, the candle was lodged right here. So what I did is I got a heavy duty toilet snake and I pretty much just snaked it from the back end. And with a lot of force, I finally got the candle out. So now we're gonna have to put the toilet back. So I went ahead and took off the old wax seal and all of its parts right here. And then I'm trying a new seal that I saw over at Home Depot. And it is a rubber one to where if you mess up, you can reseal it. Uh, so this was actually pretty easy to go ahead and put in. So this is the Fluid Master 7530. So it's a pretty um, straightforward uh, toilet. So it's a pretty straightforward item right here. 
Um, it was really easy to do. The Fluid Master actually has a YouTube video and I followed that and everything was fine. So if you guys wanna go ahead and check out Fluid Master, I'll leave this linked below as well as the snake that I went ahead and used. Um, so the next step is just to get the toilet repositioned onto the drain or the phalange or whatever the heck this is. What the heck is this? Toilet seal. We need to get the toilet back on the toilet seal and then tighten everything up and then connect the line and then we are good to go. Please Lord, no floods. <laughs> Oh, it works. Work, I did it. I did it. Well, with a little help from me. I did it. With, yes. With a, with a little help. Yeah, I got, I got your part. Because you're, in. you're trying to take the uh, bolt off, turning it like right side. Yes. And then you're trying to turn it the opposite Stein. way. Cheaper than a plumber. Good job, babe.